Hello everyone, Wendy here for Wendy's Crafting and I'm an independent staff of Thames Street living in Narbeth, Pembrokeshire, Wales. Now today it's Happy Card Making Day, so I thought, I know what, I'll make a card. <laughs> Why not, eh? Um, now, there isn't, it's not a hard card, I have done some of the cutting out and stuff already, so I mean, didn't want to drag it on any longer. I also thought that the month is October, so it's O for October. And as I've been doing in the, the months of this year, I've been going through the first letter of the month and making a card from what I have got with starting with letter O. So today I've got ornate thanks. I've got some of the ornate papers. I can't remember what they're called. Ugh. Oops. Ornate garden. Oops. Ornate garden. And I'll be using my favourite old olive. Now, as far as I've been checking, and uh, can you see that? Yeah. I'd look through our inks, pads, and old olive is the only one beginning with O. So we've got all the O's today. Right, first of all, I'm going to show you. No, not. I'm going to stamp first of all, I think. Right, so now there, I've got these two that I've cut. Will you stay up there? Thank you. I have these two that I've cut out. So that one there comes from there. And that one is that one. As you can see, I've cut that off there because I thought well, that would be nice. And then I've got this little one. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing the thank you in this one. Now I want to show you how the best way to line up stamps. And if you put an order in with me, I will uh, also send you, a, it's like a six by six little grid that we use for the stamp artists so that you can do your own. Now then, obviously with the grid, it's going to be easy. Don't go by that line, though, because they're all wiggly-woggly. Go by that that one there and try and get it. Oops, sorry if my head's in the way. Try and get it like that. Now, what I do with the, with the block, I don't know whether you can, can you see where my shadow of the block is. What I try and do, I try and keep that shadow on the line above it. Does that make sense? Good. Right. So using my old olive. I'm going to be, where's my, where's my kitchen roll gone? Oh, I'm going to be I've got some threads and some baby wipes here. Sorry, noise, noise, noise. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear the stamp block. Now, don't forget to do this because many a time I've got to do it and uh, I call the splodge man monster attacks me and drips ink everywhere. Right now, once again, I'm going to try and get the um, the die cut on the level. I gave it a half because we've been talking. Once again, I'm going to get my Sorry, I got quiet so I'm concentrating. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we've got thank you, and that's come up very, very nicely, thank you, as I was hoping it would, because uh, I've only got one of each die cut. Of course, that one did go, did have that on that end, but I thought, now nah, let's make it a little, little bit different. Right, so put that block away. Oh, ah, don't do that, Wendy, you silly Billy. Put that over there to dry, and I can put this back. Now then, 
what I've got to now do is get one for that little bit. So we've got thank you. And what should we put? <coughs> we've got quite a few here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you ever so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I want a small one that will fit in there. So what I tend to do then, I sort of go, do, 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 which way, which way. Which way. And what's that one? Do you see how I can't read them back to front? You're amazing. And then this one is... For all your help. So I put the for all your help. Now once again, I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with that one. And this goes that with it. Now this is awkward because it's going to stick down, stick down a bit. So I'm getting the getting the lines in between it. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, yeah, so get the lines in between, so the straight line, and let the bobbly bits on. That's the trouble when you stamp, so you tend to stick to you. Right. Right, I'm going to go with it like that and try and get it on my block straight. So get off my finger! Oh my word! Right, boing. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Hey, I'm getting better at this game, you know. I should do now, shouldn't I? I've been at it for over 50 years, stamping. <laughs> oh, I feel old. Right, it's the first time I've stamped this stamp, so I'm going to give it a test stamp. And yet, yeah, as you can see, it's fine. Um, what you will also find is sometimes the residue is left on the stamp. So when you stamp it, it doesn't really stamp very well. Well, when you do that, just give it a rub with your finger uh, over it or an eraser. Um, and what else? Oh, yes, and you can um, dip it into your know, stamp with Versamark with it. Right. This is how to make a simple card look very, very difficult. Down a bit there. Really messed that, didn't I? Yes. Uh, I've got these two bits here to get me central. Try not to rock the block, because if you rock the block, then what happens is. <sighs> there we go. They're yeah, not bad. If you rock the block like that, well, it won't. But when you when you ink up a stamp, sometimes you get ink on the side here. So if you rock it, I don't know whether I can do it now. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah. If you rock it, well, then that's silly. If I if I didn't want to do that now, you know it would do it, wouldn't it? Right. Put this dump set away before it gets gobbled up by everything else in the way. Now then, this, um, this card is out of my reuse, reduce and recycling bin. I haven't got many left because I did all the series with them. Um, now, I can't remember why this was in there. I probably wasn't happy with the outside edge or something, but it's fine. I like it. And it, because this is also old olive pa paper. <laughs> Shut that before I make a mess of it. Right, so now then, I want to cut now a piece of this. So if it's glaring you, I want to put it up here. Now, this is 10 centimetres by... 
14. So if I go down half centimetres, so I go down 13 and a half. And what was the other measurement, did we say? That is 10. So we go down to 9.5 centimetres. I like, it depends on what the paper's like. If the paper is very colourful and special, like this is, then I, um, I'll try and make the whole card out of it. But as you can see, you know, I've got given, given myself a little border all the way around. Now, which way is the card going? Before I start putting things on. Right, okay, is that me? Oh, I'll turn it over so this centre fits in that case. That's the one thing I didn't count on. I didn't think that... Uh, I didn't look to see how... Um, the size of my... Thank you. Right. It's, it's like a quarter of a centimeter each side, top and bottom. Here we go. So there's that. So what I'm going to do also, I'm going to do the thank you. I'm not going to put glue on the outside bit because if it does seep through, then you're going to have a tacky, a tacky, uh, tacky feel to it because Tombow is a. Uh, reposition, repositionable um, glue. So you can stamp it and it'll stay tacky for, well, I I don't know how long because I've tested it, but uh, yeah, that looks all right to me. Turn it upside down and go like that. Right, and then I've got this little one here then, which, right, that doesn't work like that, does it? So, this is what I mean by you can adjust things. Now that's not going to work, is it? So, what I will do... Aren't you glad you came here today? <laughs> now, I'm going to cut the other side off as well. And line it up the best you can. Not like that when you bit further in, look. It's only a little bit. Only a little bit. Oh my word, what is wrong with me today? Right. Well, this is live stamping even though I'm not live but it's uh you get your water to with me right so now then I'm going to put that thank you for all your help on that side now see these bits well this bit well the other way don't throw that bit away because that bit can also be put somewhere else so there we go my card for card making day and oh for october thank you for watching bye